So today we have a 47 Ford. That's an old original tow truck from Western Kansas. Something that's a little unusual that you don't see every day. I've got a few wires hanging out. I'll explain that here in just a minute. But this was one we found sitting in a backyard and it hadn't been started and they were guessing maybe 15 years or so. So we gave it a kind of a quick clean up here so you could see what uh, what we had. Unfortunately, it would have had the wrecker company's name on the side of it and either they or the people that purchased it from them decided to go ahead and take it off. So fortunately, we can't read that anymore. Uh, when you open the door, it's still got a rate sheet up above the windshield that shows what it would have cost to tow your vehicle. Looks like maybe from four to ten dollars would have been a, would be a pretty good deal today for sure. Um, it is a pretty solid old truck. It's got a few weak spots in the floor that could use a little help, but it's it's all there and it's definitely not a rust bucket. A pretty original old truck. Um, this is the control for the for the PTO for the winch on the back. It's going to need a little adjustment. I've run it up and down. The PTO and the winch work great, but the linkage needs some adjustment. It's just set for a long time, and it's kind of stiff. It just needs to be worked a little bit and limbered up. So, here's the Braden winch, PTO-driven Braden winch that runs the wrecker end of it. Custom-made bed. The previous owners believe this was a wrecker either from new or from slightly after when it was brand new. So it's pretty much been a wrecker all its life. Even has the four original hubcaps, pretty unusual. This raised metal, I don't know what you'd call it, tread plate, I guess, the old style tread plate. You don't see that anymore. I'm guessing that's probably from the 30s or 40s. But just a pretty cool old truck. Got the uh, all the spotlights and the warning lights on top running boards it was obviously a work truck but it's just a just a pretty solid old truck you can tell it came from a dry area so let's see open up the hood here it's got the flathead v8 um, the wiring all this old loom wiring you know, a lot of it's chafed. Um, I didn't want to take a chance to shorten something out, so I just ran a wire from the battery over to the coil, and then I just ran a from the fuel pump to the fuel jug. The fuel pump does work good. This is a positive ground system, so you got to think about it a little bit before you before you hook something up or do anything. So let's see. We'll hook the coil up here. Make sure we're hooked up over here. We'll see if it'll start for us. I know it's a little hard to tell on a video, but man, it runs good. It really does sound good. We've got the custom exhaust that runs up the stack and out the top right here. Has a good sound to it. There's really no bad leaks, no bad smoke. Um, I mean, I can't say for sure what all it's going to need, but we did fill it full of water. There's not water running out, so the water pump seemed to be staying dry. Um, it, it's bound to need something. It's set for a lot of years, so you're going to have hose, you know, that leaks or something. But it, it really seems like it's pretty solid. Mice chewed on some of the wires a little bit you know some of this stuff's going to need a little help but man it's just a great start to a fun project well, there you have it a 1947 ford record